in the air, looking to the left, looking to the right, and he approaches the football, and the 29th Annual Circus City Classic is underway. Glad you could join us here on the NCCU Sports Network. Looks like Hamilton gets the kick, and he will run all the way towards the middle of the field. He caught it on the far side of the four-yard line. He stopped at about the 20. They're going to mark him at the 19 and we're underway here. Now Q rolling out to the far side. He's going to run with it again to the 40. Ty Brown able to corral him. There's a fumble on the ground. Are they going to call a face mask? Looks like it. They may like call. It. There's a flag on the play. And with four on the play clock, three, two. Here's a play action pass. Jordan is looking towards the far side, rather near side, and Marvin Poole with the catch at the 29-yard line, and that'll be... We'll hand it off to Merrill. Merrill trying to get to the outside. Eagles bottle him up back at the 35, and he nearly looked like he was about to fumble that. Was a touchdown. Here's the low snap. He's going to try to pick it up, and it's loose again, and it's picked up by Ryan Smith as he falls on it, and the Eagles will have great field position at the 17-yard line. Awesome job by the special teams unit right there. The ball was snapped low. The guys come in hard, and they if they could have gotten to him just a little earlier, he won't be able to pick that up, and we have a chance to pick it up and run it in the end zone. Well, the Eagles with a great opportunity here today. South Carolina State under center this time with a man in the backfield. Looks like Jalen Simmons. Yeah, he will get the handoff, and he is stopped immediately at the line. And that is not Jalen Simmons. It's Ashton Jordan who ran for over 220 yards against the Eagles last year. And, Joe, if I'm John Morgan or anybody on this defense, Ashton Jordan doesn't get anywhere past 10 yards here this, this, this ball game. They're lined up all against the line. Here's the handoff to... It looks like Pendergrass. Pendergrass bottled up way behind the line. He will lose yardage there to the 25. And the Eagles have switched up, like you said, to that 3-4 look. And you would think a, 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 an alignment like that would dominate here in that situation. But the Eagles strung it out and did what they had to do. Well, the good thing about that is you, you get you get another athletic person on the field, which is why a lot of teams like to play the 3-4. You dig, they're strong, and they're going to eliminate a lot of things that you would normally be able to do against other teams. Here's Pendergrass. He's not going to make it. Did he lose the football that time? As Taz Foster got in on the play, broke it up and sent him back to the 31-yard line of the Eagles with a big third down stop. With and you can't do that against Buddy Pew teams, so you got to take advantage of all those opportunities when you get them. Daniels in motion, and off to go forth. Oh, go yeah. forth out of the outside of the 45, knocked out of the 46. That's the first long running play for go forth here today, and the Eagles will move the chains for a first down. The 46-yard line. Reed with the snap hand off to go forth. He's cutting to the outside, oh, breaking nice ankles move. with a move to the outside. He's at the 45, slung down. Face mask will be called, and the Eagles will move the chains again. Added on to the run. He was tackled at about the 40. All right, Reed the holder. Snap is down. The kick is up. It certainly got the distance, That's and good. he drilled that one. As the Eagles tie it up at three, Oleg Perrin is fired up. And with 13-13 to go here in the 29th Annual Circle City Classic, we're tied at three. You're listening on the NCCU Sports Network. 10-10 as we're just into the second quarter. Q lets one fly. Picked Hit. off. It looks like that's going to be Cromartie at the 50. He He's at go. the 40. He He's at go. the 30. He's at the 20. Cuts back inside he at the go. 10. Oh. Knocked down at the 7. There's a flag on the play. It looks like there may be a block in the back or some. Form of penalty, but Malik Kramani with the play of the day for the Eagle defense, who's come up big here today. Yeah, really, really big play right there. And I don't know if it's on us or not. I look like Sacramento State may have taken a cheap shot on one of the players who was just running, trying to get involved in the play. Now, Reed, five step drop. Throws it to nicely. He'll make the catch of the 26. First down for the Eagles. Jay Nice, the senior. On the stop route, the button hook, so to speak. Nice play. Geo in motion to the far side. Now they're going to dump it off on the screen to go forth. Go forth cuts back in to the 25. Oh. And he is stopped. Whistle blows. And he has been slung down. And he's going to be a flag on the play. Yeah, if he makes that move right there to the outside, he walks into the end zone. Let's see if go forth can't get it in here on the handoff. There he's outside. 10, 5, dives in. Touchdown, North Carolina Central, and the Eagles score the first touchdown in the 29th annual Circle City Classic, 9-3 now the score. Yeah, great job right there, Reed, and an excellent job by the fullback right there, blocking down on the power play and on the kick out, and he just basically hit it hard and ran hard and was able to get to the end zone relatively easy. 13-yard touchdown score by Arthur Goforth makes it 9-3. He is back. 
a quick throw over to the far side. It is to Woo! the receiver. Fumble. Fumbles it. Pick it's it going to be picked up. The Eagles have it. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Woo! Who is that? Is that Taz Foster? Touchdown, North Carolina Central on the fumble return. And the two turnovers have caused South Carolina State two touchdowns. 16 to 3, the Eagles are on top. And like right now, we can go right back down the field and score another touchdown. It changes the complexity of this game. Oh, they'll get a chance to return the kick, that being Arthur Goforth as he gets it on the far uh -oh. hash. It got He's a crease. got the seam at the 20. Got a ah. Now the 25, spins out of a tackle to 30. Now cut back into the 35, and Goforth makes every kickoff return interesting, and the Eagles with great field position once again. That right, coach said before the game, Arthur's having a great season right now. Reed, he'll roll back. Bump faking, steps up. Now he's going to run with it, dumps it off to go oh, forth. Yeah, go forth. He's got, got room at the 50. He's at the 45, 40, 35, and nearly breaks a tackle of the 32-yard line and a huge game by North Carolina Central. Time. There's the handoff to Clark. Clark around the outside oh, yeah. and inside, diving into the end zone. He Is he, he in? Out. No, he's out of bounds at the three, and he will be just shy of the touchdown, but the Eagles are in the red zone again. It'll be first and goal from the three. Nice job by Clark. Yeah, good job, a good run right there. He he stepped out right there. Would have, he, would, he would have gotten in easily. He, he may not even have had to dive. Let's see what Reed and company can do here on second down and goal from the four. Reed will keep it himself. Running forward to the end zone. Is he in? Touchdown! Jordan Reed with his first running touchdown of the ball game. And the Eagles answer the bell once again and make it a two touchdown contest with 38 seconds to go in the half. Seconds to go in the half. Eagles trying to just stay on top here. Q, he is going to be pressured. He is going to be pressured again. Pick Ball it. is up. It is picked off. I think that's Malik Cromartie again. Cromartie looking for a scene. Get He's back got to the right. One. Get back to the He's right. Back to the outside. Get back the to the 30. right. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Knocked down with 15 seconds left. Oh my goodness. The Eagles with another interception, can add to the lead here with 15 seconds, now 14. Nine yard line is where Cromartie got back to. Nice. Unbelievable play. Yeah, nice job of getting it, getting to the middle and resetting the wall. And when that wall got set, I, I was 100% sure he was gonna score, but he stepped out of bounds before he got a chance to finish the play. To his left, looks like he could throw a hot route to him. Jordan going to the end zone, has Touchdown. a man open! Touchdown! Detwan Robinson with the catch! Detwan Robinson with his first touchdown at North Carolina Central. 29 to 10 with 10 seconds to go. The 6'3", 256 pound senior from Lewisbury, Pennsylvania with his first touchdown catch here at NCCU. Great play right there, and everything's looking good right now as we're marching down the field with ease, and now we need to get this kicking game going, and we'll be clicking on all cylinders right now, Chris. Indianapolis and the Eagle fans are on their feet here, giving a congratulations to the Eagles' first half effort. Great job by North Carolina Central. They lead it 30 to 10 after the first 30 minutes of play. I tell you what. We're going to have to break down everything else and everything that's gone on here in the first 30 minutes when we return into the first half here in the Circle City Classic. Eagles on top 30 to 10. And you're listening on the NCCU Sports Network. He's 0 for 1 from this distance. This will be a 43-yarder. Low snap. Belcher gets it off. It's wow. blocked. It's in the air, and it'll be caught by, it looks like Ricky Hubbard, but it doesn't matter as... The ball's on the ground, and the Eagles block the field goal. Great job by the special team unit of North Carolina Central. On a state, their defense is very, very good. Now Jordan Reed, he's going to run with it. He's going to pitch it off to Arthur Goforth at the 35. He gets to the 40, and he's going to be close to the first down marker I think at he's the got 45. It. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Bulldogs around the ball, and that was a smart play by Jordan Reed. Real. Hands off again to Clark. Clark breaking through to the 35. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Breaking 30. House to music. 20, House 15, music. 10, 5. He's in. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, yeah. Touchdown, Andre House music, Clark. baby. That's what he's got. He's got that gear, and when he gets that seam, hey, he's like a runaway Clydesdale, baby. 40-yard touchdown by Andre Clark as the Eagles make it 36 to 10. As 
Wiley on a play action pass, looking to the end zone. It'll be up for grabs. Mark Lewis, he'll intercept the pass in the end zone. And the Eagles just continue to put the Bulldogs in their cage, as that should pretty much do it here from the Circle City Classic. 40 to 10 with 2.10 to go, and the Eagles certainly will move to three and two on the year. As again, North Carolina Central has done it. They will move on. They have done it here in the 29th annual Circle City Classic. Final score as the clock winds down to four, three, two, and one. North Carolina Central in its first appearance in the Circle City Classic has won. 40 to 10, the final score is NCCU moves to three and two on the year. And they are now two and zero oh in MEAC play. They will take on Morgan State next week in a huge, huge showdown for first place in the MEAC in their second year in the fold.